Hey guys, hope everybody's having a really good day. Um, so today's video is going to be about how I get, I came into like my spirituality and just like my spiritual awakening, I guess you could say. Um, yeah. So let's start from the beginning. I basically had to hit rock bottom in order to get to where I am today. Um, I wasn't always like a positive person and everything, like I said in one of my previous videos. Um, I used to be really pessimistic and really negative and everything. And I guess I just was so at such a low place that I realized there was nowhere else to go but up. And I refused to let anybody get to me or let any let any outside source affect me to the level where I wasn't able to be happy and I wasn't gonna allow that anymore. Um, so I essentially cut off every single negative person in my life, whether you were a family member, a person that I talked to, a friend, coworker, it didn't matter. Like I just cut all the negativity out of my life. Um, I actually had also started to get into reading. Um, I used, didn't used to like reading books. Um, I have a few books that I want to show you guys that I actually read and really helped me out. Um, and it all started while I was in Arizona visiting my best friend. Um, we went with my friend Craig, we went to Flagstaff and we were there, you know, we were walking through the forest. Um, we went to Oak Creek Canyon and Sedona and I was back in Phoenix with my friend Bree and it just, I don't know, that was around the time that it kind of hit me because I realized that those, those are two important people in my life. So then it just kind of went from there. Um, and I bought this book right here. It's called The Way of the Superior Man. If you're a woman, this probably, I don't know, this might help you, I don't know. Um, it really helped me um, balance out the masculinity and feminine qualities in me because at that time I was having a really hard time trying to balance them out. Um, so that was one thing that really helped me out. Um, another one was this book called The Untethered Soul, The Journey Beyond Itself. It's by Michael A. Singer. It's like, you see it right there? It's a really good book. Um, it talks about a lot of stuff and it gives you like a glimpse into everything, like your life and all that stuff. Um, it just, it's really helpful with all that stuff. The third one is called Indigo Adults. It's a really good book. It's, I'm sure you guys have heard the term um, Indigo Children and everything. This is the Indigo Children who are now adults, like myself and a few other people that I know. Um, and it really helps you understand everything that's going on in the world right now. And it just really helps you figure out your place in the universe because you know we're just a little tiny speck in the universe um the fourth one is just you know a, it's called it's a buddhist buddhism book i'm trying to become a buddhist like i'm or practice buddhism i guess you could say that's what i'm, I'm trying to get into it um and this is called the essence of buddhism it kind of gave me a hands-on type thing with the book um i also practice yoga and everything so i don't know that's just me um and one of my coworkers, I haven't yet to read this yet, but I I want to see it. He gave it to me because of the my questioning of the universe and everything. Sorry, but so, we were to talk so it's called the Path of Least Resistant: Learning to Become the Creative Force in Your Own Life by Robert Fritz. I haven't read this book yet, but if you guys have read it, um, let me know how it is. I'm gonna start it as soon as I finish Indigo Adults. Um, I'm like halfway done with it, but that's just those are a few of the things that I did. Um, also, I started to get really more connected with nature because I'm a really big nature person. So, you know, find something that really grounds you. You know, if you love drawing, make drawing a priority in your life. If you love working out, make working out a priority in your life if it already isn't. Um, if you like cooking, make cooking a priority in your life. I know uh, with our busy lives, we never really have a whole lot of time to do all that stuff. Like myself, I love nature, so if you love nature yourself, make it a point to like at least walk a trail or just make an effort to do something having to do with nature because I promise you it'll make you feel a lot better inside and just slowly work towards your spiritual self and just you know becoming at one with yourself like that's the most important thing that we can do um hopefully this video helped you guys out the uh other episode of project good vibes the one that we're gonna do that free hugs project in austin we have to put a halt on it because the weather here has been really really weird like yesterday we we're supposed to be swimming and it was cloudy and raining and then today it's like super perfect and nice outside but i have to work so it's like 
we're trying to figure out when we can do that hopefully it'll be soon um i'll definitely keep you guys updated the next one might not be on it but i mean i'm gonna try my best so just remember be positive try to spread as much positivity as you guys can and like subscribe and share my videos thanks guys later